I'd like to show you how to do some basic raster processing with elevation data. Okay. Here I've downloaded a set of tiles for a digital elevation model and these are separate tiles you can see. They're separate files and I want to join them for my study area. Now this is down in North Carolina but you can get tile data in Minnesota also. It sometimes is delivered as tile data from various sources. I want to merge these into a single data layer in the raster processing in the miscellaneous I can merge those using this merge tool and I have to select the input data layers and so I can go ahead and mark all the ones laboriously that I want to mosaic together. Um, or I could select them all except that I have other data sets here so I don't want to select them all. Um, sometimes it's easier to select them all and then to um, unselect the ones or to select a few and toggle the selection and I can add files from directories so I'm selecting them in various ways here I just select them by clicking and hit run and it does the merge for me and loads it now you notice I didn't save it to any particular data set this is a temporary data set so it shows here that it's temporary by this little semiconductor signal or bug signal in the right. I could have saved it by specifying a name or I can save it now by right clicking and exporting that in save as and direct it to a location. I'm going to leave it here temporary because you'll often do temporary files, raster files, and leave them and when you edit exit the project they'll go away. If you don't want them then that's perfectly fine and you don't have to delete them later. One of the things we also often want to do with a raster data set is do various analyses. So I can do an aspect or a fill, but in this case we often want to do a hill shade, one of those sort of a grayscale. I'm going to use the merge, I'm going to use band one. Um, I'm going to have a Z factor vertical exaggeration when I can change that. This is the direction the light is coming from and the altitude of the light, the sun basically, and so if I run it, it again makes a temporary file that is that kind of hill shade that you see that shows the lay of the land perhaps more intuitively than just a digital elevation model. So sometimes these are used as background or just for illustrative purposes. One other thing folks often do in the raster processing is contours. So I can do basically in the extraction here contours from my digital elevation data and I don't want to use the hill shade, got to make sure I pick the right one, in this case the merged, and I want the interval between the contour lines. Now this, I know the elevations are in feet and 10 feet would be a little bit too dense a contour interval for this area. I'm going to go every 50 feet for the contour interval. You set that depending on both the terrain, your analysis interests, and the units you're using, these are in feet, sometimes they're in meters, and you have fairly flat terrain, so you might do one every half meter. It just depends on your needs. Again, I'm going to save this to a temporary file. Go ahead and run this, and it calculates the contours as a vector file for me, and you can see them here if I turn off the hill shade and all my data layers, or at least enough of them, you can see it's generated those contour lines. So merging hill shades and contours are useful things in elevation data and they're pretty easy to process in QGIS.